Dr. Damien. In class, each group will receive just 10 minutes to schedule all of their social media content to Hootsuite's social media management platform. To ensure that you can do this within 10 minutes, you need to be prepared having everything already in your Google Drive. And you need to follow the instructions in this video so that you know what you need to do. The first thing that you'll need to do is visit hootsuite.com. If you're already logged in because you have a private Hootsuite account because you've been taking the student course in the Hootsuite Academy, then you'll need to log out. Once you've logged out, you need to click on login to re-log in, but this time you'll log in as me, djcliche at gmail.com. I'll give you the password for this account um, once it's your turn and you have 10 minutes uh, for your group to post all of your social media into Hootsuite. The screen that you'll initially see presents the streams of all of our social media feeds. So here we can see all of the Instagram posts that Review AE has ever made. Here we can see all of our Facebook posts. Here are all of the tweets that we've ever posted. And here is every single mention that we've received. So when an individual mentions at Review AE, it's going to appear here in this stream. The idea of this um, platform here for the media is that the social media manager can then go in and easily comment, uh, to favorite, to like, to engage uh, with customers and simply keep track of everything that is going on. Uh, we can add different types of networks and apps as well, um, depending on the kinds of things that you're actually doing. But what we need to do for our class for your 10 minutes is that you need to publish. Uh, you need to be publishing and scheduling in the editorial calendar. So over here on the left, the one that looks like an editorial calendar, you need to click on that. From here, uh, you need to find your particular day. So if you're scheduled uh, to publish on the 2nd of November, you know, that is your day right here. If you're um, uh, scheduled to publish on the 10th of November, this is your day here. You can see your day to be scheduled on our class Google Sheet. So every group has a particular day. Uh, and even more than that, you guys have a particular range of time uh, within each day because two groups are going per day. So check out that spreadsheet, make sure that you have it right. Once you've found your day, so let's just say that I'm scheduling uh, on November 1, that is my particular day, um, I need to create some posts. So I'm gonna go back now to my Google slide deck here and I put in my four pieces of content. Here is my Instagram story. Here is my Twitter post. Here is my Instagram post. And here is my linking post. That's going to go both to Facebook and to Twitter. Let's start with the Instagram post first. I think it's probably the easiest one to understand. Okay, so I have my image here and I have my caption as well. So I've saved my image um, here in the uh, slide deck, but I've also saved it on my desktop to make things a little bit easier. Um, and I've got the image all ready to go. So I will copy that here. Um, what time was that scheduled for? 2 p.m. on November 1. So let's go to 2 p.m. That's just here on November 1. And I'm going to click on post, okay, because this is an Instagram post. Um, then the platform will open up to allow me to create a new post. And the first thing you need to ask is where is it going to be posted? Is it going to be posted on Facebook? Uh, no, not this one. Is it going to be posted on Twitter? No, it's going to be pasted on Instagram. Okay, once you've chosen the correct platform to post, uh, you can paste in your caption. Okay, so this was my caption that I just copied from the slide deck. You know, I've got some hashtags here. Um, and I've got some mentions, these will appear in the app once it's loaded. Uh, and now I need to upload the file. So I'm gonna click um, upload, uh, I saved it on my desktop um, and it was this image right here. Um, so this is what it's going to look like um, when it is posted here. Wanna try fishing? Review AE shows you how. Uh, visit reviewae.com and read our view, review of the best fishing shops in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we tell you everything you need to know to get started. And I've got some hashtags here as well uh, and the mentions. Okay, so it's all ready to go. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I've got my time correct and I'm gonna hit schedule. 
Um, and here it is. Uh, you can see now I'm all scheduled uh, to go live at uh, 2 p.m. on the 1st of November. Okay, the second one, uh, let's do the, the Twitter post now. Uh, that one was scheduled for 4 p.m. Uh, here it is right here. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy. It doesn't really meet the criteria that you guys had, but I just thought it'd be a pretty cool thing to say. Uh, so let's uh, make a, a post here at 4 p.m. Um, actually, uh, sorry, wrong one, guys. Um, let's go back. Uh, I think that was scheduled for uh, 6 p.m. for this one. So let's click on that post. Uh, 6 p.m., uh, what is it going to say? Uh, oh my God, ZG students take over our social media tomorrow. Um, but as you can see, um, I wanted a GIF here. It's the it's happening, isn't it, GIF? Uh, so how do I paste in GIFs? Uh, well, the easiest way to paste in GIFs here um, is to use the Giphy editor within Hootsuite. Uh, so first of all, I'll just choose that I want this posted to uh, review A's Twitter account. Um, and then I'm going to select here on this button that says browse your media. Now you can upload your GIF if you've got it saved um, as a GIF file on your desktop, or you can click on browse your media. On browse your media, it's got all these uh, free images that you can use. Um, if you want to use Pixel Bay, but uh, I think most of you guys have created original images. Uh, but what it does have here, which is really useful, is Giphy. So I think most of you who have used GIFs have got your GIFs from Giphy. Um, so you would click on Giphy, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and you'll see all of the GIFs that are available in Giphy, and they can be easily inserted. So I just wanted a GIF about being excited. Uh, and um, the GIF that I went for was this one here about it's happening, isn't it? Um, so where was that uh, GIF? I um, uh, can't actually see it now. Here it is. Uh, click on that and looking good. So I'm going to close the media library and you can see it, right? Oh my God, ZU students take over social media tomorrow. It's happening, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So click on schedule um, and here is my post. You can see I actually did a little test run before I did this recording. Okay, uh, what's up next? Uh, at 4 p.m., uh, we are to do the linking post. So let's create a post again. Uh, this one, though, is supposed to be scheduled to both Twitter and uh, to Facebook. So we want to click both checkboxes, Twitter and Facebook. Um, let's go find that post here. It is this one. Um, wouldn't you rather be fishing? And I've simply put the link in. Um, so here we go. Wouldn't you rather be fishing? This is what it's going to look like on Twitter. And um, this is what it's going to look like on Facebook. Okay, so I've got the URL, a couple of hashtags. Um, you see my featured image from my blog post and my meta description is in there as well. Um, not much else to change in here. I'm pretty happy with that. I've got the right time. Uh, let's schedule those. So now you can see that my two posts uh, here have gone into the calendar. Okay, last uh, but certainly not least is the Instagram story. Okay, so I want to schedule my Instagram story. Um, this one's a little bit different. So this time when I click on the timing, instead of clicking on a post, I want to click on the Instagram story itself. Um, so here I am, I'm in the stories um, itself. Uh, I've got my story here saved um, into my slide deck. I've also got it saved on the Google Drive and I just pulled it down onto the desktop just then just to make things a little bit simpler. I also have these notes, okay, because we can't add stickers. Um, we can't add any of the stickers like um, uh, music or uh, GIFs or uh, locations or mentions. Um, we can't then add them from Hootsuite. So if you want um, me to add them, if you want me to add um, a GIF or a music or a link or a location um, or you know, any, any of the stickers that are available, even a poll, uh, then you're going to have to tell me very, very clearly on the slide deck here exactly what you need. Um, so I'll show you, you need to copy that, those notes, and you'll paste those notes here into the clipboard. 
Um, and that's then going to go to my phone at the time that your post is going to be scheduled. Um, so I can make any last minute changes with the stickers that I need to be added. Um, so what file do I need? I need my story file. Remember I created the, the image, so here it is. Uh, Lens the story. It's gonna take a, a minute to upload here just because it's uh, MP4. Goes for about 30 seconds, so it breaks it over to maybe three different stories itself. If you've done it by images and you're just going to load image after image after image um, as separate stories, uh, you certainly can do that. Just, just select um, you know, more files to upload after you've done it. So you know, I could add another story here and another story here and another story here. That's fine. But I, because I've created it as an MP4, you know, I'm going to just have to upload the one story. And it, uh, you know, that's it, I'm pretty much done. Uh, so Review AE and Rocky the dog uh, go fishing. Um, that's my, my video file. And I know to insert the music, let's go fishing, um, et cetera. Okay, so that's pretty much all I need to do. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and hit schedule. And you can see that the story now is ready to be posted at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, actually, the story has already been posted. Um, here it is. You can see what it looks like here. Um, and I did receive the message on my phone, so it does work. Um, and I then added the music, Let's Go Fishing by, by Joe Stump. And I inserted uh, the link, uh, Review AE's Best Fishing Shops. So this is something interesting now. Um, just over the weekend, uh, for the first time, ever review AE is now allowing links in stories uh, for people who and brands that don't have 10,000 or more followers uh, previously to be able to add a link you either had to pay for a sponsored story um, or you needed to have more than 10,000 followers now we don't meet either of those criteria but for the first time ever over the weekend Instagram decided to open up uh, the ability to link to everyone so they're opening up the platform. You've heard me complain so much about how Instagram is such a closed system. Um, well, it turns out that they've actually been listening and they've decided to open it up. And now you can actually put links in that take you off platform uh, into the stories. Okay, I think that's uh, everything that you guys need to know. You should check out uh, the, the posts um, on uh, our Instagram stories um, on um, Instagram, on Twitter and on Facebook to see what my posts look like. I'll leave the ones here from the other day, from, from uh, yesterday, uh, so that you can actually see um, you know, what it looks like when they get posted. All right, uh, good luck. Um, try to work fast. Um, I can only have two groups logged in to Hootsuite at a time. So we only get 10 minutes, that's it. Uh, so please just work hard, work fast and um, get it done. Good luck guys and I'll um, be here to help you. Go fishing, Let's go fishing. I'm, on I'm on a mission. It's so pretty, I sure hate to waste this chance. We'll find a shady little spot, not too cool, not too high. Perfect for a little fishing and romance. Oh, yes.